a deadly flu outbreak that's rapidly spreading across the country. My first guest says the best way to protect yourself is by getting a flu shot. And yes, he has given me one on this very broadcast. Joining us now is Fox News senior medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel. Doctor, it is great to have you with us. This sounds horrific. A 7% of all deaths in the country in the last week of last year flu related. This, this is deeply troubling. Lou, as you said in the setup, this is very similar to the strain that we saw in 2003 when over 40,000 people died of flu related deaths, which basically occur because of other infections they get. The flu knocks you down. The flu weakens your immune system. It makes you very fatigued. You know that because that's the most prominent symptom. Then you get pneumonia or bronchitis, some other if infection. In 2003, though, we didn't have as good a match for the flu shot as we have now. This year, we've got the strain that's causing most of the problems in this year's flu shot. And a lot of people haven't gotten it yet. Only about 37% of Americans have gotten this flu shot. Why is that? I mean, I, everywhere I go, I, I got my flu shot this uh, year at our local grocery store in the pharmacy. Uh, I, I just, I mean, there are ubiquitous opportunities uh, to get them. What's the, what's the reason? The reason is one word, fear. I wrote a book about this. It's about how people have misconceptions about the flu shot or any shot. You know, they think, oh, the flu shot could be related to autism. It's not. Flu shot could give me the flu. It can't. It's a dead virus. And you know what? We're, we're giving a wake-up call to people here, and there's plenty of time to get the flu shot because you can get the flu shot and be immune within two or three weeks. And according to the CDC, it's not going to peak this flu season right. for another few weeks. Get the shot now. And young kids are not getting the shot the way they should. Parents are afraid to give the shot to their children. They should. The CDC recommends every child over the age of six months get the flu shot. I'm a big believer in that. And, and it takes no time at all there, it, it, to set aside one fear. It, it, there is no pain. It is, uh, it, I mean, it, it's, well, certainly when Dr. Mark Siegel is talking, <laughs> there's no pain. Uh, and I've got to say that uh, all of my friends at uh, A&P took good care of me. I mean, they're terrific folks uh, all across the country doing this. It's just so sad to see these people dying when it's effectively needless. I mean, you went on with a show last year. I gave you a flu shot. Right. You, didn't, you, know, you can get occasionally That's how busy. brave I am. I uh, went on with a broadcast <laughs> after a flu shot. But moving in the direction of giving flu shots, instead of to older people like you and me, I'm now giving it to beautiful young women. So that's been a change. And, and you know what? Dr. Siegel is so practiced at this craft. He's just given me the segue to bring in uh, Jacqueline Rose, our segment producer. And if I could ask you to join her over there, uh, Dr. Siegel, to give a, a shot just to demonstrate... Uh, 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 how simple this is and how needless this is, as we say. Uh, now, I've, I have to say, this flu vaccine, we, I've heard more stories talking to friends and family members about how this flu vaccine is the wrong flu vaccine, that it's only effective in one out of a million cases, all sorts of nonsense like that. But in point of fact, as Dr. Siegel said, the, the NIH, the National Institutes of Health, the Centers for Disease Control, all of these folks have done a very good job of plotting the course of uh, this flu, which comes from South America up here. Uh, and they have to make these decisions. How, what, how far in advance? Is it a full year? They do it in the winter. In, they do it the, the summer before down right. in South America and Asia to right. look at what's going to happen here in our winter. Now, it's about 60% effective in a good year, and that's what we're expecting this year. So this is why we need to create a, what's called a ring of immunity. We have to vaccinate young people like right. her so that everyone in her household is protected. The more people I vaccinate in a given house, the less the young children are at risk, the less people with chronic illness. If she has an elderly parent living at home or grandparent, I vaccinate her, less likely flu, flu enters the house to begin with. And, and the age is from six months, is this correct, from six months, uh, for every, and on up. Is that correct, Dr. Siegel? You can give it to someone six months and up. Before that, they're not going to get immune from right. it, so you're not going to get... You, they'll, the youngest infants will get it from breast milk, uh, from, from, from being in, in the womb, and if you, you have to give pregnant women the flu shot. It's totally safe for pregnant women. Pregnant women are a big risk of the flu. Yeah. Give flu shots to pregnant women, and it will transfer down to the unborn fetus. And, and, and you're recommending six months, then, and, and older. Six everyone. months and older, everyone. Everyone. And especially at risk are elderly people and uh, chronic, and chronic illness. And, and you know, I, I think I, I would have to say that I see more folks who are, well, they're not elderly. They're more my age, the younger people are, who are getting uh, flu shots uh, again at, uh, 
at the local pharmacies, and, uh, and I hope that we'll see more folks uh, obviously doing that uh, because this is very serious. Do you expect this to reach the proportion? You personally, I know it's a, just a judgment call at this point because we're early, uh, these are early days, certainly, but we are seeing a remarkable number of deaths, uh, a remarkable spread in this. Do you expect this to approach the levels, you yourself, of 2003 and four, perhaps 2009? I do, but we also have it in our own hands to decrease that by getting the shot, by staying home when you're sick, by washing your hands, by using hand sanitizers, by understanding that you can spread the flu on surfaces, and by coughing and breathing on each other. We can decrease this even now. And Jacqueline Rose, who is, as I said, our segment, one of our segment producers here, uh, we built, this has been sort of cruel, we built up her expectations and anticipation of this shot. Uh, Doctor, uh, Jackie, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Hang in there. Be brave. How was that? Nothing to it. Nothing to it? Nothing it's to good. it? It's good. It's good. Terrific. First time flu shot. Jackie, thanks so much. Dr. Siegel, thank you. I want to put, the, if we could put up that full screen of what uh, is widespread flu activity now. Uh, the CDC putting up uh, this uh, specific uh, designation. 41 states now with severe flu, widespread flu activity. As Dr. Siegel has said, let me reinforce it. Get your flu shot. It's the right thing for you, and it's the right thing for everybody else. Thanks for being with us, Doctor. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Jackie, thank you very mm -hmm. much.